They make wind chimes, but they treat wind chimes the way they should be treated. I've seen tin wind chimes that sound like three beer cans slapping together. Okay? That, you would that think, a bad sound? You would think that would be music <laughs> to my ears, and yet it is not. Uh, J.W. Stenard <laughs> creates musical instruments for your backyard. And every single one that they have ever done has been popular. This is their newest, their latest, their greatest. This one is brand new today. It is also bigger, richer notes bigger, bigger overtones. Uh, it's a piece of art for your back deck. Welcome back. Hi, How welcome. Are you? I mean, thank you for welcoming <laughs> me back. Good this morning. is Michelle Stretch. Uh, we have two different colors for you. And how do you differentiate the two, Michelle? Okay, so this is silver that you see in front of here. All beautiful right. classic. And then in front of you, there's the silver. It's so gorgeous. These bells are huge. There's we the call gold. that gold, but I want to point out that that's tending towards rose gold. Oh, okay. Okay, All right. so it's almost getting to a copper feel. So this really is a rose gold look. I mean, that's been a really popular color right. for us with the wind chimes. It's, can we start at, like, you want to start at the bottom and work our way up or go from the top and work your uh, way down? Let's stop, start from the top down. Why not? Yeah, why not? That's Easy what I usually do. do. These are the biggest, okay, they're not the longest chimes that we have, right. but these are 56 inches. The bells have a larger circumference, and you know they're hand cut. They, if I can cut 20 tubes, of this special aircraft aluminum, 20 tubes to the exact length, and they will not be the same tone. So every one of these is toned specifically. They start at the very top yeah. with a powder-coated steel hook. Yeah. This line that you see here. <laughs> Diamond-lined fibers. Diamond-lined is used <laughs> in American satellites yes. to tether the parts of satellites together in space. So don't be worried about sunlight on these. That is all hardwood. This, hardwood. this has three coats of marine varnish on it, and the wood is a hardwood, Dan, yeah. yet this clapper that's in the center has a little bit of softness to it. So when it strikes those bells, it's kind of like a soft malleted sound. It's not a clanging sound. Uh, it's, There's grommets, too, that keep the diamond line, those fibers away from the bells to give you a more crisp, clean sound. It is, it's, these are built by hand as musical instruments should be. There's uh, the wind catcher at the bottom. I yeah. know you cringe every time I say this. <laughs> uh, normally, normally I will tell people I am not a fan of wind chimes. And I'm not. But these you love. These are not wind chimes. These are musical instruments. These are musical are. instruments. I, I have a JW Sonard piece in my backyard that it, it reminds me, I grew up in a little tiny community where we had a Presbyterian church that was about four blocks away. And I could hear the, the bells when That's I'd be out soothing. in the backyard. Yes. It's a comforting sound. These are comforting, Dan. They're, you know, there's so many stressful They're church noises bells. that you hear outside. Yep. This is something that's as soothing as birds singing or, you know, the wind rustling through the trees. And if you took a tuner at home right. and went to each one of these notes, you'll know that you have two Bs, an E, a C sharp, an F sharp, a G sharp every single time. This business has been around for over two decades, and John Stenard, who started it, started making musical instruments. Yep. So these are considered musical instruments perfectly hand-tuned. Uh, and, and you will notice the difference. By the way, we don't always get the opportunity. This one is brand new today. We don't always get the opportunity to put these on easy pay. But every item in my program this morning is on easy pay. It's four installments of 20 bucks. You get six really distinctive and they are called bells, yes. and that's exactly what they represent. They are bells. They are, and um, my goodness, if you have any of our other, we have, you know, 72 inch ones, 33. Right. If you got these two, you would have a complete orchestra in your backyard, and an orchestra of soothing sounds that just right. feel really nice. And we do have this patented technology. Well, let's say, let's Can say you, you and I are sitting yeah. out on the backyard, yes. and we are having an incredibly important conversation. <laughs> which you would have to have started because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you can turn what it off. What she did was by sliding the clapper up, and it's got a magnet, that shuts off. Kind of a mute, yeah, for your wind yes. chimes. Right. And, and I believe all things should have mute, mute buttons. <laughs> people too, yeah. <laughs> no, you get, people at home are going, oh yeah, they should. <laughs> Absolutely. 
But anyway, these, I mean, Dan, you know, we They're add beautiful, beautiful flowers to your garden. Um, you have lovely smells out there. And this is a great idea to add sound. Why not think of adding sound to well, the outside? You know and it connects you to the outside, even when you're inside. There, that's an etch design that you're seeing. It's called concerto. And yes. concerto is a musical composition of different instruments. And that's really what this is. And you see all those notes um, kind if, of etched in there as well. If wind itself had sound, it would sound like something that J.W. Stenard had built. Yeah. And they're, they're beautifully crafted. I just, the amount of detail and their eye for perfection, uh, and they, they last. It is and perfection. And they last, and they last. This is, these are the most upscale wind chimes that we have ever made available. And our price on these is extraordinarily yes. reasonable. Yes. If you're in some of the really high-end boutiques, some of these pieces are very expensive because, again, I can't, they can't cut 20 of the exact same length pipes and have the exact tone. They have to tune them by shaving off hundreds of an inch to get the exact note. Yes, and people, you know, people who are wind chime aficionados, these are the ones to go for. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's you good are to wonderful. see you. Are you, are you coming back later in the show? I'll be back later today. Later Thank today, you. but not in my show. Not in your show. Was so it I'm something say I said? It may have been. <laughs> it usually I'll is. I'll tell you later. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Still to come, we're going to do this a little bit later on. English Garden boxwood, uh, Boxwoods. Now, by the way, I can put this next to Mother Nature's Boxwood, and you will not be able to tell them apart. This is the new sense of landscaping. This is common sense for our gardens. If you're someone who does not have a green thumb and, and you kill plants, uh, we had a rough, rough winter uh, in the Chicago area. And I'm just mentioning that in particular because the gentleman who brings these to us is from that area. And they lost hundreds and hundreds of boxwood plants. These can never die. They can never fail you. They are absolutely as realistic as any I have ever seen. And they're affordably priced. And we've got two different sizes. We'll be talking about those coming up in just a little bit. Welcome back. It is right now about 55 minutes after the top of the hour. If you're no normally watching Morning Q Live, this is about the time we take a look at our today's special value. So we will do that this morning on a show that's been preempting our usual. This is three